often there is confusion in front of malware reverse engineer on which tool to choose for reverse engineering and executable, whether it is IDA, OLE debugger, x64 debugger, or Khitra. Now, before understanding how to choose a tool, let us understand some other basics of how a executable is created. So here is a very simple program. When a program is compiled, it generates some machine instructions. Now, these machine instructions are generated based on the input to the compiler. So based on the target architecture or machine, the instruction can be x86, x64 or ARM instructions or can be any other instructions. Now these instructions are enclosed inside a executable file format. And this is again determined both based on the input to the compiler, which is the target operating system. So the executable file format can be ELF for Linux operating system and P for Windows operating system. Now the tools like Ghidra, Ida Pro, X64, Debugger and other tools have something known as loader, which is capable of parsing these executable file formats. So Ida is capable of parsing both ELF and P files. Ghidra also has similar capabilities while OLE Debugger and X64 Debugger are capable of only parsing the P executables. Now let us again go back to the compilation. So when the source code is C++, C, Golang, Rust, Delphi, or VB, the compiled code generated would be the native instructions. By native, native instruction, I mean the instruction set can be x86, x64, ARM. But when the language, the source code language is .NET, it is compiled into intermediate language instructions. And later these intermediate language instructions are converted into native instructions by the runtime CLR. And now when it comes to choosing a disassembler or decompiler for native instruction, they can be disassembled using IDA, OLE debugger, x64 debugger and Ghidra, while the intermediate language based instruction can be decompiled using DNSpy. So DNSpy is meant for decompiling .NET compiled binaries. Now, when it comes to disassembling or decompiling ARM instructions, IDA and Ghitra would be useful. And when it comes to decompiling or disassembling x86 instruction, OLE debugger, x64 debugger, IDA and Ghidra would be useful. Now say suppose there is a ELF file which has x86 instructions embedded in it, then we can use IDA and Ghidra because ELF file cannot be passed by x64 debugger or OLE debugger. But when there is a P file with ARM instruction inside it, then again, we are required to use IDA and Ghidra because ARM instructions are not supported by OLE debugger and x64 debugger. If there is a P file inside which x86, x86 instructions are enclosed, then uh, you can use 
ओलिडी बगर एक्स सिक्सटी फोर डी बगर घिथरा एंड आयडा सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न मोर अबाउट रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग यू कैन विजिट intelirut.academy.intelirut.com and take up the course malware reverse engineering basic to advanced with detection engineering